Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's Laura in case you didn't know and today I'm going to be filming another cooking video. So today I'm going to be making chickenless chicken yoki. It's just a vegetarian version of the chicken yoki from Olive Garden. I am tweaking a little bit or a lot of it <laughs> because I'm not going to use milk, I'm not going to use real butter, and I'm obviously not going to use real chicken or chicken broth. So if you want to see how this is done, please follow along. So I do want to show you um, the ingredients that I'm going to be using. Um, a lot of the things, they're probably stuff you've never seen before, but I just want to show you where I got them. So you could probably do this at home. Okay. Okay, so for today's recipe, we're going to need ground cinnamon. This is just going to replace the nutmeg because I do not have nutmeg and I didn't realize that. So we're just going to use ground cinnamon as a substitute. I might try to use this vegan chickenless um, seasoning for more flavor. Pepper. We're also going to use salt. That's back there. Um, this is also poultry seasoning. It's vegan, but it does give it sort of the chicken taste. We're going to be using not chicken bouillon cubes. This is also for the vegan chicken broth. Yes, it is vegan. Vegan, vegan, vegan. Okay. We're going to be using fresh thyme. We're going to be using garlic cloves. We're going to use half of a white onion. Now for the cool stuff, we are going to be using tofurkey. So this is a plant-based chicken. Uh, it is vegan. This is an excellent source of protein if you do see that right there. You can find this at Mother's, Whole Foods, Ralph's, stores like that. We have our vegan butter. We're going to be using coconut cream. So coconut cream is just going to be used for the half and half. It's a substitute for that. We don't want to use milk because we do not like milk in this house. We're going to be using the gnocchi. This is from Whole Foods. You could also find this at like Mother's, stores like that in the pasta aisle. We're going to need spinach. We're going to need carrots. You can use shredded. I'm using the bigger ones because I like the taste of carrots. We need celery. We're going to need olive oil. And we're going to need some all-purpose flour. So I did have to change the recipe because I am not using a vegetarian or vegan recipe. I'm using a recipe that has chicken, that has milk, and I don't eat that. So one of the changes that I had to make was I had to use a vegan butter. We're going to cook the celery, the garlic, and the onions with this butter. So I'm going to start with making the chicken broth. So um, what I saw is that this just dissolves in some water. And that's about it. We're going to use one cube. Ooh, I've never tried these before. But I'm sure a lot of people use these kind of things. Um, so I'm just going to grab one cup of water, chickenless chicken bouillon cube into the water there. I'm going to actually add to this is a little bit of this poultry seasoning and I'm just going to sprinkle in a tiny bit because it's just going to help with the chicken flavoring. This is vegan as well so this is just seasoning for chicken. It's not made from chicken. So I'm going to add it to this. I have minced three cloves of garlic, chopped up a half of a white onion. I have chopped up three stalks of celery. And I've done about a tablespoon of the thyme. The first thing that we're going to set up is going to be our olive oil and our butter in the pot. And then we're going to throw in the onion, the garlic, and the celery. A tablespoon of the olive oil. We have two tablespoons of vegan butter. I'm just going to stir it. So I'm going to throw in the onion, the garlic, and the celery. It's in there already. I'm going to stir it up and then it's going to start cooking. So we want to wait until the onions start to cook up a little bit. And then we're going to add flour to this, about a fourth of a cup. And this is going to help thicken up the half and half or the cream, the coconut cream that I substituted with. Just gonna throw in the flour a little at a time so that you can mix it in and you don't get all clumpy. Okay. 
This is going to be the coconut cream going in. Slowly. I'm going to mix it in. So I have added the entire coconut cream to the pot. And then we're going to add about a cup of the uh, carrots. I like carrots. <laughs> While the carrots are cooking, I'm going to cook the chicken in a separate pan. To however the instructions say. So I just threw in a little bit of olive oil. Um, I'm going to cook the chicken. So I have added the thyme. I've added salt, pepper, and a tiny bit of the cinnamon. I added cinnamon to replace the nutmeg that's used in, the rest in, in a lot of chicken gnocchi recipes. And I am going to add a little bit of poultry seasoning straight to the uh, pot here itself. So I just threw in the chicken there to the pot. I'm going to stir it all in. It smells so good already. Wow. Surprise. <laughs> this is my first time making this. And then to this, we're going to want to add that cup of the chicken bouillon. I think I might decide to add a cup of vegetable broth as well, just to make it a little bit more soupy. So I have added the cup of the chicken bouillon. I'm going to add half of a cup of vegetable broth. This wasn't in the beginning recipe, but I'm going to add it just so it could be a bit more liquidy. Because the gnocchi will soak up a lot of the liquid here. If you think that you need more seasoning, go ahead and add more seasoning. I just sprinkled in a bunch of everything. I'm going to add the gnocchi straight to, to it. And it's a little bit frozen. So um, you're going to have to make sure so to let this cook all the way. I'm cooking it right now. I'm just throwing the gnocchi. It's going to take a little time to cook that because it was frozen. But it looks so good and it smells so good. And of course it's because I'm making it. And I know that I'm kind of biased. But... It looks so yummy. I will say that the coconut cream does make it taste a little sweeter, which is kind of strange because it's chicken chicken soup. But it doesn't taste bad. Like I'm surprised because I don't really like anything that has to do with coconut. It's lunchtime, so it's not really some fruit. I added the chickenless chicken seasoning from Trader Joe's. It's gonna taste amazing, I think. Should we sing it again, y'all? Everyone's gonna wanna be cooking with Laura. I was just thinking about this because I don't really say how much of what I put in uh, stuff that I make. But how I think about it, when I was growing up, my mom didn't have like a set recipe to something. It was just like, oh, if it tastes right, put it in. If it doesn't taste right, then like, oh, well, too bad. We'll learn next time. So, as for like seasoning, I always say add a little and then work your way up. If you don't want to add that much salt, don't add as much salt as other people because some people like to do low sodium diets or they don't like pepper, don't add pepper. If you don't want the seasoning that I have, don't add that, add some other stuff. But I'm just wondering, how did you guys learn how to cook? Because my mom was just like, oh, adivina, <laughs> just guess what you want to put in there. And I think that's just the best because you get to experiment and do whatever you want with the food that you're making. So, yeah. <laughs> Comment below what you guys do, please. I just want to know. Because I find it really interesting. I want to know if you guys have, like, recipes that your grandparents have passed along to you. Because I feel like that's what happened in my family. But just by word of mouth. <laughs> hey, and last but not least, we are going to add that spinach to the pot there i'm gonna just add two handfuls of the baby spinach yeah, i'm pouring kind of heavy because it shrinks i think we all know this about spinach and just stir it in there with the rest of your oh goodies i think i'm gonna add another cup of the vegetable broth so that i have broth because i like the soupiness of this so I'm going to take out and put a little bit more vegetable broth to this. Okay, we're going to try this. We're going to try this. 
Let me not do that. <laughs> this is how it looks. Yummy, yummy, yummy. This is how it ended up looking. Got a little bit of the spinach, a little bit of carrots, a little bit of gnocchi and chicken there. Bone apple tea. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Go louder. Go louder. Sometimes I, I shouldn't do things because the internet's gonna see it, right? Mmm. It's so good. I would add a little bit more broth. I added a cup of the chicken bouillon and then a cup two cups of vegetable broth so I would, I would probably add another cup of the veggie broth hope you guys try this recipe because it's a win in my book I would give this like a nine and a half a nine <laughs> I would give it a nine again I said if you guys want me to make something that is not vegan or vegetarian and make it vegan or vegetarian I will do that because that's a challenge that I'm willing to take on well I hope you guys like this video and I hope that you guys try to make this or just try to make something to eat today I'm gonna eat this now so make sure to leave a like and a comment if you do want to see anything else bye